operating limits for each configuration. Okay. Also, in the data sheet, you'll find something like this. Again, this is your cutoff region, a very tiny region, actually. This is your saturation region, and everything else in the middle is your active region, okay? Your active region. But you have to make sure that you, that you stay within these dotted lines, right? These dotted lines. These are the limits. You cannot cross that limits, okay? If you do, then you're going to mess up your device, okay? And you also lose some important piece of information. So transistor operates in the active region, which is between saturation and cutoff. We know already that, you know, IC is at maximum when VC is at minimum. And then VC is at maximum, IC is at minimum. So those correspond to basically these, right? So here IC is maximum, right? IC is maximum, but VC is minimum. And that's what cutoff region is. So if you want to use BJT transistor as a switch, then based upon whether you want to keep it on or off, you choose whether you want to operate transistor in a saturation region or the cutoff region. But if you want to use your transistor as an amplifier, then you want to make sure that your transistor is working in active region. Power, again, just simply apply Ohm's law. PC max is for common base. It's VCB times IC, okay? Also notice here, folks, because we know P is I times V, and usually power is associated with the output. In a common base configuration, the output voltage and current. Okay, so in a common base configuration, output voltage is VCB and current is IC. Similarly, in a common emitter configuration, common uh, output voltage is VCE, and then output current is IC, and then common collector, VCE output current is IE. Okay, and if you take the product of those, these two, you get PC max for all configurations. Okay, uh, remember it's not that you do all configuration; you just pick one. Common emitter is the most widely used. Most widely used. What are the advantages of these three configurations? If you look at common base, which is over here, the input impedance is low, output impedance is very high, phase angle is zero. Uh, voltage gain is high, current gain is low, power gain is low. And similarly, if you look at common emitter configuration, medium input impedance, output impedance is high, phase angle is 180 degrees, and so on for common collector as well. Um, as we do the analysis, you'll see our numbers will basically correlate with what we have over here. Okay, so based upon your requirements, your application, you choose what kind of configuration. And like I said, mostly we use the common emitter because it has a very very high power gain so if you have never seen a, a transistor it usually looks like this you see in the picture if you hold your transistor in your hand such that you're looking at the flat side okay so it will look something like this so this is the flat side the other side is round the other side is round okay so if you hold it like this then this is your emitter terminal this is your base terminal and this is your collector terminal. You got three legs. And if you did the lab yesterday, you notice that you know it had three legs. This one was emitter, base, and collector. Okay. It might be changed because I think they, they had a different transistor. But for this transistor two and four, one, two, three, the configuration is first leg is E, second leg is base, third leg is collector. Okay. Okay. And then these are all the uh, you know specification and everything. What you see over here is basically these things over here, right? You'll, see, you'll find this graph also in the, in the data sheet. Transistor testing, okay? So if you take a transistor and if you find out whether it's a PNP or a NP, NPN transistor, uh, you can connect your ohm meter, you know, these are the connections, and it will tell you whether there's a PNP or a NPN transistor. Uh, they come in different casing and packages. These days, you know, they are getting very, very smaller and they look pretty much like this, uh, like I was showing you here. So that's very, very basics of transistor, their construction, their functioning, their types, their configuration, currents and the voltage associated with it. Mm -hmm.